Are you all right, Captain? I'm definitely better now, thanks. Captain, we have a problem. <sighs> Another one? What is it, Mr. Chekhov? I... I think you need to see for yourself. Tomorrow, a simple solar flare should not have caused the loss of power to your station. Do you know the origin of your vessel's malfunction? It did not malfunction. Uh, didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary stars. However, all of the station's primary controls were operated from a base located on a nearby planet. What planet? We are calling it New Vulcan. So it is true. Spock, as you know, after the destruction of Vulcan, we have been searching for a suitable planet to rebuild our race. New Vulcan seemed perfect. However, a project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirach. Never heard of him. Sirach is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Uh, sorry? Why would Sirach shut down power to your station? He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly? This just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge. Chekhov, tell me something. It is highly unusual, sir, but I believe it's some kind of rip in the actual fabric of space. Like a wormhole? Something like that, sir. It appears to be a shortcut through space. Where does it lead? There is no way to know for sure, Commander. I believe that rip is the reason my father ordered the Helios machine to be shut down. Then we need to talk to him right away. Lieutenant Uhura Hail New Vulcan. Hi, Captain. It is no use, Captain. We lost communication with them when the Helios machine was shut down. Captain, scans indicate the reap is contracting. At the current rate, it will be gone in approximately 12 hours. Good. The fewer anomalies we have to deal with, the better. Captain, no response to our hails. Mr. Sulu, bring us in range of New Vulcan. We're going down there. Okay. I must request permission to join you, Captain. Spock, are you sure that's within protocol? I mean, maybe we should just send Scotty and some recruits. Captain, I hope the importance of New Vulcan is not lost on you. Our people cannot afford another tragedy. This planet is the best hope for our race to prosper. Noted. Then you should also note that having a Vulcan as a member of your away team would be essential to the success of this mission. And I am the only one on this ship that has ever been on the surface of New Vulcan or has experience with the Helios machine. All right, all right, all right. Great. Now there's two of you guys drive me nuts. <laughs> Transport ready, Captain. By phaser, Mr. Scott. I've put some wee modifications on it just like you asked. I've been working on some other options too. I've got a phase cannons, photon disruptors, and wait till I show you these plasma rifles. Still working out a few things. My phaser will do, Mr. Scott. I guess you don't want to hear about the stasis grenades then. Nasty little buggers. But if you want your phaser, here's your phaser. Energize.
Okay, let's go. Any further out and I'd be back in Iowa, Mr. Scott. Sorry, sir. Too much interference. I had to drop you outside. It says Quiet, just follow her. Negative, Captain. For some reason, the highest security protocols have Oops. been enabled on this door. Can we hack it? Possibly, but you will have to work together to beat the encryption. How do you do it? What? Oh, there we go. Captain, the system seemed to have been purposely shut down. I can provide assistance. Tamar, can you operate all the systems from here? Yes, I helped build and design. Captain, if you are implying that I should stay behind. Tamar, we may need your technical assistance should things get unfriendly? Unpredictable. But my father. When we find him, you'll be the first to know. I will remain in constant contact. Thank you. Captain, shall we proceed? After you. Let's go. We have a gun. I believe we have a problem. Really? You can't make that jump. It is highly doubtful that even. Pretty much easy. What? Oh. They are dead, Captain. The music just got intense. Are we shooting someone? What is that sound? You guys hear that? That's weird. Wow! I did. understand that our lives were at risk, but we must endeavor not to use lethal force. Agreed. We both need to use stun from this point on. Oh, what? Okay, what are we doing? Scan defeat enemy stun lock. I think he's been poisoned. Scans show numerous toxins in the adrenal glands and bloodstream. Okay. Someone's moving. We gotta take him out, but remember, stun only. I would not have it any other way. Okay. Is someone there? Do I need to scan? This no. This door is locked tight. We need a code. A mind meld may be our only chance to find out what has happened. Spock mind. What? So you gonna mind meld that guy or what? What the hell? What's going on? 
So you gonna mind mouth that guy or what? Are you sure you want to touch that guy? Okay. Mind meld is our only option. Anything? I have never encountered this before. His mind has been corrupted. Also, I now know the code to that door. Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. I saw okay, let's go. Everything all right? Yeah, just some Vulcan problems. So, the usual. Captain, I am detecting several Vulcans behind this door, but their Shit. readings are erratic. May I suggest setting our phasers to stun? After all, they are Vulcans. It's getting down. There's two in there. Control this. Let's find the Ciroc guy and get the hell out of here. Officer, what? Quick. Oh. <laughs> Come in. Savensu. Spock. Sirak, I am relieved to see you unharmed. This is my commanding officer, Captain Kirk. Captain, this is Sirak. Pleasure. And Tamar? I am here, Father. Tamar, I am pleased to hear your voice. Now what the hell is going on down there? We have been attacked. Creatures of an unknown origin. They emerged from the rip not long after it appeared. What creatures? We have only been able to decipher that they call themselves the Gorn. Spock, we cannot allow the power of the Helios machine to fall into their hands. It would be catastrophic. Why would they be after the machine? They could use it to create rips anywhere in the universe. They would be able to attack without warning. Where's the machine now? Further underground, in the colony's deepest labs. I have secured all entries into the lab to prevent the device from falling into hostile hands. Tamar, are you able to provide additional assistance? I can open the fire door that leads further into the labs. After that point, I will no longer be able to assist them. Your guidance is all we ask. Then I advise caution. There are likely to be more infected Vulcans up ahead. Got it. Okay. No one's here. Oh, let's go. You appear to be approaching a disabled door. We'll force it open. Your success is unlikely. The structure of this door is designed for containment. It may be possible to restore power using a spare power cell. I will mark the location of the power cells on your tricorders. Found it. <laughs> Come on, don't lag on me. I saw it before she <laughs> gave it, gave that destination on me. Holy crap! This is not good. Calm down, dude. What the hell is going on? and maintain a low profile, we should avoid detection. Captain, if you must dispatch them, please be merciful. Understood. Okay, we gotta be stealthy. There. Help me, please! Oh my god, what's going on? Oh 
my... So much lag. Stay down. Don't let them see you. There's one. Your survival depends on it. Who is there? Can you help me? Ah. Made a passcode. Can't? Damn it. God damn it. Spock? that guy and take him out before he notices most certainly our starfleet training has prepared dr mccoy have you been able to ascertain the nature of the vulcan's infection there seems to be high toxin levels origins unknown but we'll continue to investigate bones you're breaking up i can't hear you with deep underground Shit. lost them it appears we are now completely on our own I think I like this one better. Great, more friendlies. Shit. Crap, crap, crap. What are you doing? Hide, dude. Hide. Crap, I killed him. Damn it. Think something is near. It wants me to kill you. Please escape while you can. I went, I went. 
units are wrong. The amount of infected we have encountered is alarming. Oh, what's in here? 